Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley where tomorrow's weather is going to be sunny. Oh, tomorrow's the day of the flower dance. Okay. And today's luck is uh, somewhat bad. Right? And today is Andy's birthday. We'll see if we can get him something he loves. Um... Maybe something from the saloon. Pale ale, beer. We'll see. Now. Uh, don't have the stuff for that. Do have the stuff for this, though. Fiber, dandelion, and uh, parsnip. I guess we could get the mushrooms too. At least the uh, non-starry common ones. Which um, we can then use for food when we need more energy. Let's see, we don't really have all that many dandelions here. Don't want to use them all up in case we need them for something. Let's make five Junimo's Breath Potions. Very good for energy. And super cute. Oh, hi, Emily. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Yep, I have acquired some cloth. I can make clothes with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very kind of you. We'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Okay. Hello, Yuma. Lenny asked you to come visit me. Tell me that I should visit Ridgeside on a sunny day. She has something important to talk to me about. Okay. Today is a sunny day, but we have a lot of other stuff to do today as well. <laughs> Dad read, read about us um, in the paper and... Uh, Louis is reminding us about the dance tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do today. So maybe we'll visit Ridgeside Village on some other sunny day. I, um... I want to go see if we can find something Andy likes, or something Andy loves actually, in the saloon to give to him for his birthday. And uh, I want to go see Caroline's Too Hot event. And I also want to go get my copper axe because it is done now, so we'll go see Clint too. And um, I have looked up the uh, tailoring recipes in the Stardew Valley wiki. 
and um, I already have the stuff for one thing that I'm curious about making and uh, seeing how it turns out. It's a dress. And um, originally its color is going to be yellow. But what Emily didn't tell us there is that we can also dye it um, using her sewing machine. May as well get all the mushrooms out of here. We'll sell some of the starry ones. I'm going to save the gold star uh, chanterelle just in case we need it. But um, the other starry ones I'm going to sell and then I'll save the normal non-starry ones. All right, so um, let's go make a start on our, well, all the stuff we want to do today. It's nice to, well, maybe I'll actually um, wait for a while. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. Well, it's almost 9 a.m. But, um, we'll clear these rocks from here. And then we'll go, just to make sure that we don't have to do a bunch of waiting. I don't know if it was after 10 a.m. that we needed to... Uh, go see Caroline's event. But for some reason, I do have the uh, 10 a.m. Um, on my mind there when it comes to Caroline's Too Heart event. Hmm. Let's take the uh, cloth with us. Also, we need to transfer the stone out of there. <laughs> take the honey. We need cloth and honey for the dress and then I want to dye it black. So we need something black to do that with and uh, We've got coal, so I'm going to use that. day you're checking in on your green beans Gus and Pierre were here earlier too Pelican Town's community garden it is a neat idea You don't have a lot of property to grow your own food. But in here you can do that. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Yum. Now, 
first things first. Oh, Trini, hi. You're wearing the prettiest dress tomorrow? Aw, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Let's go see Caroline's event. Good morning, Caroline. It's your private sunroom. It's beautiful. It's your sanctuary, a place where you can always find peace. A perfect place to drink your homegrown tea. Absolutely, I would like a cup too. You love to come here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's your little ritual. Sweet. Oh, totally makes sense. Tea time is me time. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Now, this tea plant here is going to yield us tea leaves every day during the last week of each season. Hello, Caroline. Yeah, foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash. I agree. Olivia? Mmm, yeah, I know that I'll be planting plenty of blueberries. Oh, and melons too. Jody. Yep, it is important to make some time for exercise regularly. Emily. And Robin. Yeah, I will be visiting your shop soon-ish. Marnie? Ah, uh, we've talked about Shane already. Yeah, well, actually, maybe we won't be visiting Robin's shop all that soon because it is the last week of the season, so that means the season will be changing soon and... Uh, We'll need to save some money so that we can buy seeds to um, plant our summer crops on the first day of summer. Hello, Haley. And also, I do want to spend some money at the flower dance tomorrow. So yeah, it may actually be some time until we can um, order anything from Robin. Now, we've got the cloth and we've got the honey.
And now we have a yellow dress. We'll put it there. And then we'll put the coal there. Oh, right. It changes color, like, um, incrementally. So, um, I guess we'll need more coal. Wanna make it black. Oh, can we do... no. We'll need just one. One at a time. Now we've got a grey dress and uh, now we have a black one. Can we make it like um, like a darker black? Did it become darker? No, I guess it didn't. So that's like the darkest black we can make it. Mmm, it's not the same black as the shirt. Oh, I thought it was a dress, but it's a skirt. Okay, well... Um... I guess this is fine. Hmm... Ooh, we do have that, um, that shirt we bought. I wonder, should we dye it black? Then it would be the same black as the, uh, dress that is actually just a skirt. Hmm. Well, I'll take that under consideration. Hello, Penny. You're tutoring Vincent and Jazz today, so I guess you're on a break then. Sam? Aww. But, um, you're not at work today, are you? So... Even if the flower dance had been today, you wouldn't have gotten a day off? Oh, unless you're... Unless you had like, um, just a morning shift or an evening shift. Hello, Clint. Hmm... I wanted to make the skirt the same shade of black as the shirt. I guess that's not possible. Maybe, as I said, um, maybe we'll color the shirt that we have in the chest. Hello, Goss. Oh, Goss. You're welcome, Sam. Does that mean that the, uh, saloon is not open today? Also, it's Louis we need to talk to about the, uh, slime eradication reward. He's not at home. Is he, um, well, let's see about this. Nope. Hmm. He's not standing around here either. Um, Louis? Oh, you're, um, you're in here. Yep, I did slay some slimes. Thank you. 
you do all your gro grocery shopping here. Well, that's good that you uh, don't go to the big chain store instead. I guess we can't buy any beer or ale for Andy anyway. Huh. Um. Yeah. It should be open from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Gus is not there, so I guess for some reason or another he's taking the day off. What else can we give Andy then? What were the things he liked? Oh, Salmonberry. We're so not giving him a Junimo's breath. Those are way too precious and useful to uh, be giving to anybody. Especially when they're not a loved gift. Hello, Vincent. Aw, well, eating too many gummies is not good for you. So, um, I'm sure your mom is only thinking of your best. There. And the, um... Oh, and he's in the forest. Okay. Rasmodius, what are you doing? Hi. You're assessing the strength of the barrier. It should hold steady for another six seasons. That, that sounds good. Monsters are lurking in the darker corners of Stardew Valley. Yeah. As the resident magic practitioner here, it's your responsibility to maintain the magical barrier that uh, keeps Stardew Valley safe from monsters. Castle Village also has its own, um, witch. The barrier she oversees is the largest in the world. Wow. And, uh, you have a council meeting to go to? Okay. See ya. Now, to find Andy. Hello, Leah. Gus uses special fertilizer from Pierre's to grow his coffee beans. Okay, I currently have one coffee plant growing but um it's going to grow through all summer so we'll have time to uh, get some coffee beans Am I getting close to Andy? Yeah, very close. He's right there. Hello. Yep, we are going into the forest tomorrow. 
You're hoping to find some good forage on the way? Well, here's some good forage for you right here. You're welcome. Now, almost 4 p.m. already. Doesn't make any sense to try and get into the mine today anymore. Especially since it's a somewhat bad luck day. Hmm. Maybe we'll use our new axe and uh, get rid of some of the stumps on our property. Yeah, I think we might do that. And also get rid of some of those stones. Let's chop some stumps and um, uh, smash some of these um, rocks. Clearing some room over here. running out of energy. <laughs> Luckily we have uh, plenty of Junimo's breath. And berries and mushrooms too. I think I'm going to use the Junimo's breath first though. Let's clear this bit of land too. Time for a potion. Almost full energy out of that. So, so much better than it would have been to just eat a parsnip and a dandelion on their own. Considering the Junimo's breath is just one dandelion, one parsnip and one fiber, it is a um, very, very nice thing. Totally worth making. Let's use up the remainder of our energy to clear this bit of land here. It'll be nice to have plenty of spots to choose from for um, any possible farm buildings that we may want to put down at some point. It's just a bit of a pain to have to be constantly switching between different tools here. Hmm. 
Do we have enough energy to chop down one more tree? I guess we better just uh, clear some debris. out of energy but we did get a nice bit of stuff done better not push it any um, more than that that time we'll just have to put the stuff away that we just collected so um Oh, I guess we didn't have anything to put in there. There we go, and uh, plants. And then we've got seeds. Also the uh, mahogany seed. And uh, coal. Alright. Yeah, we'll uh, move the stone into here. Just so we have all of it in one place. Good night, Snowdrop. Ooh, foraging profession. 25% more wood from trees or 20% chance for double forage. Double forage. Thank you very much, even though it's only a 20% chance. I think originally it was guaranteed. Or, um, I may be wrong. Anyway, today is the day of the flower dance. So we'll be going there. And uh, before we do, we need to look after our crops. But um, that'll pretty much be it. We'll be doing that in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.